Welcome to Pro Kitchen Tutorials. Now we have a new appearance for our dialog boxes to go with our two interfaces within Pro Kitchen's 9.5. You have your classic. You can still keep the classic dialog box or go with the new 2018 standard dialog box. You can go with our standard ribbon version and do the same. Go with the classic dialog boxes or the new 2018 standard dialog box. Let's get started. Click OK. Let's start with our dialog boxes. Our dialog boxes have a new modern 2018 appearance. Let's go to our default settings to start. As you can see, our new modern 2018 design gives you ease of access to all your menus. You can also resize your dialog box and reposition it. Once repositioned, you can hit OK. And the next time you open it, it will be in that exact location. As you go through your dialog box, you will see everything in a more modern appearance. And as you can see, application appearance settings, you can toggle between your classic and your standard appearance and the classic and standard on your dialog box. So you can have it in the standard appearance and then go to the classic dialog box. You can do it in any combination that you would like. Your moldings, molding lighting, your textures, your construction, everything is right at your fingertips. Now all of your dialog boxes have the new modern 2018 look. So as we go through our attributes, you can see that all your menus are easily accessible. And it just makes it so much easier to find the things that you need. And as you go through your accessories, your lighting, your knobs, it just makes it easier to find and see everything. One of our new features is our wall drawing capabilities. With these new capabilities, you can add your walls. And if you notice, these walls link automatically to another wall. You can see how you have your dotted line. You know that these walls are parallel. So if you left click, come across and click, your walls are linked automatically. You can also click on a wall, add a wall, and you have two separate rooms. Now, you have to make sure that your walls link. You have to make sure that you get an intersecting line. See how you're getting the two dimensions? This means your walls are intersecting and you're separating into two rooms. See how this one is not? You have this diagonal here showing that your wall is intersecting. If they overlap, you know that your wall is not intersecting to the other. If you notice, I clicked on it and it automatically clicked these together to make two rooms. You can make one floor plan for an entire home. One of our other capabilities is that you can have more than one wall coming from a corner. So we can take a corner, sketch another wall, and you see our wall is coming from the corner. So it doesn't matter how many walls you have, you can have it coming this way and one coming this way. So you can have multiple walls coming off one corner. If one wall exceeds another wall, your placement zones will be combined. So I'm just gonna put this wall here. See how this wall now exceeds this wall? 
if you look right here, the placement zone gets combined right here between these two walls. Now, I am going to open a design I've already created. In this way, I can show you our other new features, our multi-room floor design. This gives you the ability to change wall, floor, and ceiling coverings in 3D for each room individually. We can also name each room in the process. So let's change our first room. If you right click on the floor plan and hit rooms, you will see that we have four rooms. And as you scroll over each room, they're highlighted in yellow. And what you can do is go to the attributes and in attributes, you will get this dialog box, room attributes. And here you can name your room. And as you can see, we have this one highlighted in yellow and this is our pantry. So we can name it pantry. And then here's the wall covering. Hit select. And you can either use one of the colors here or if you have saved any colors, you can use them here as well. And we'll take this sea salt and the flooring, let's select. And you can go to tile, you can go to hardwood, um, anything that you would like to use, you can put in there. We're gonna take a hardwood, let's hit okay. And our ceiling, let's do a white ceiling. white paint and then hit select and there's your pantry now if we go to our rooms you'll see that it's named here pantry and in our 3d you can see that each room has its own paint color on the wall and its own flooring now I'm going to show you some other features that we have in our new 9.5 Pro Kitchen. One of the features we have is our countertops. You can use the countertop designer or our regular countertop add all, which will add countertops to all of your cabinets. Now the feature is in countertop designer. As you make a change within countertop designer or on the floor plan itself, let's edit the island here. We'll extend this back here. And we've just extended the back of the island. When we go to countertop designer, so what this does is keeps the countertop designer and the floor plan countertop in sync. So any changes you make will sync accordingly here on the design. Another feature we have is our multi-dimensional tool. So measurements and comments, if you come down here, we have a multi-dimensional button here. If you click on the button, and we'll just go from this corner across to this corner, and if you'll notice, it segments every section as we go along all the way across. So you can use this multi-dimensional tool to measure any area within your design. And it does the entire room. So you can do between rooms. So we'll start here and go across. And again, it segments each room. As you can see here, it divides the rooms, but it also measures the walls as well. Another feature that we have is that you can right click on your floor plan, hide automatic dimensions. And all your dimensions are hidden except multi-dimensional lines, but you can hide these as well. Go to dimensions and hide and it'll hide that one as well. And we'll hide this one here. You can always go back and go to display all dimensions and they'll put them all back in again. Another feature we have is our support. And if you go to your file menu here and go to help, 
here's your support button. Click on support. A browser window will open right to the Pro Kitchen support page. It will automatically put in what product you're using, what version, your platform, PC, Mac, or Pro Surface, the catalog you're using, the catalog version, your name, your phone number, your email, any other emails you want to enter you can put in here as well. A short description here and then the description of the problem. I am I am having trouble. Here's your files that are attached. If you need to add any other files, you can hit here and then submit. And this will go right to our support department. I hope this has been helpful for you, that you can see everything that's possible within Pro Kitchen that will help you with all your design needs. This has been Pro Kitchen Tutorials. Thank you for watching.